Hi all, it's Friday afternoon. It's actually almost two o'clock. Just you a little bit. Now, it was my birthday yesterday, the 9th, so I am now 34 years old. Um, it's a good day. Slow, but a good day. Can't complain. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm cleaning up a bicycle disc rotor. This is um, Surgical Spirit in there. It's just that on my other Claude Butler bike. The front brake doesn't really work, so... And it's got a really cruddy... Um, A really cruddy um, bog standard Pro Max brake rotor in it, so I'm cleaning this one up because it's a better one. And I'll whack that on the wheel and I'll take some clean rag down to get any debris off the brakes, brake pads, and I may actually yeah, I'm just put a bit of sandpaper through them to roughen up a bit. So I'm going to put my greasy hands on that bit now, do I? I've also had an electrician in today, working for Victory Housing, because uh, just to check, basically, make sure my installation is up to date. Um, apparently, the shower is sort of borderline. Um, because it's an 8 kilowatt shower being fed by a 6 mil cable. Um, technically the cable should be bigger than that. But because it's such a short distance, we can get away with it as it is. And I barely use the shower anyway, so... Um, I'm hoping I can get all six of these undone. Oof, my hand stinks of uh, alcohol now. But, uh, obviously they plug in a machine that trips the RCDs to make sure they're uh, tripping within the regulation time. And uh, he plugged it in at one of my or into that power bar I've got in the bedroom running my uh, vintage computers and uh, I was a bit slow because I didn't actually uh, well I hadn't been awake long either but I'd forgotten that that power bar wasn't even turned on because it was coming up with a wiring fault well of course it would because uh, it's not bloody turned on I've got the main switch to turn that one on haven't I so you plugged it into the other one that's on the floor underneath my uh, retro corner and of course he got it to work and trip out that way <laughs> but um, it weren't until he left that I then sort of remembered whoops the one he plugged in in the first place wasn't even turned on <laughs> you know big oops well not a big oops just a little bit of an oops, like I said, there's plenty of other sockets. There's one up that end that he couldn't get to because uh, my chest of drawers is in the way. It wouldn't have taken a lot for me to pull that out, but... Mind you, I could have done it while he was testing the other bits and bobs. Bloody hell. This is the first disc in a long, 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 long time that I've actually had where all six bolts have come undone perfectly. So that's what that is, just a, it's a piece of shit basically. Cheap piece of junk. So I found this one up, which is actually much, 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 much better. There is arrows on these as well, so you know which way around to put them. There is um, a torque gauge on here as well, but I don't have 
talky thingy and I have absolutely no idea who that is. Um, just wait a second. That's all right, speaking of electricians, he's just got back. <laughs> Not for here though. He did say he had to come back this afternoon for another flat. Which I've actually forgotten about as well. That's why I was surprised that my doorbells are wrong. Maybe he can't uh, get in. But yeah, there is a talk. I can't read it upside down. 56 pounds, inch pounds. But I don't have a little talky wrench for these, so. What I will do is pull six in. Lightly at first. Just to let go tight, like that. Right. Trying to get a bunch of stuff sold. One, to get it out of my way. And two, I've got a couple of items I'm watching on eBay. As well as a phone bill to pay by next week <laughs> so yeah it's that time of year where money gets a bit tight like it probably is for a good majority of us and it's even worse when you're claiming benefits like I am it's not the you know not the meal ticket people believe it is but well not for all of us anyway I don't know how those that you know Managed to survive fine on benefits, actually do it. I'd love to know their secret. Last one. Right. Then what I'll do is I'll put Allen key in the other way and give it as tight as I can. And you go to the opposite one, like you would on a car wheel. Do the same. It's hurting my fingers, is. Because you do. I think that's why a lot of these are a pain to get off. Because they're torqued. And I actually find. Uh, The heads get wrung off when you try to undo the damn things because they've been put on so tight. And you end up having to drill them. I've drilled I don't know how many to get the discs off. But, uh, there we go. That is on there. That's that wheel done. Disc replaced. For a better one that was on... Well, hopefully a better one than the one that was on there. Oh! Forget his bloody name. eBay friend of mine, who's also added me on Facebook now. Um, but I'm not going to give his name out on camera. Has he's uh, anyway? He has sent me two more free lamps. There we go. They arrived this morning, actually. JSP Microlights. And yes, they are actually micro lights, both of them. And I believe that would be classed as the Mark 1 and that one would be the Mark 2. And I can't remember, <clears throat> without checking the message, if he said they were both brand new or they both look brand new, to be honest, or at least in bloody good condition. It's not often, I don't think any of or my other micro light of this model has actually got the plastic strap. Oh. 
Uh, what else can I show you before I buzz off downstairs? Uh, I'll take that rag with me. Now I bought this radio up as well because I'm not really in the shed doing anything a lot now, so I thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> Polaroid batteries, to be honest, I've not had much trouble with these. They seem to work just as well as the JS JCB, not the JSP. It's because of those. <laughs> Uh, and they don't leak. I mean, they've been sitting in there mm, six months more now. I just got to wait for two cuddly toys to arrive in the post. And yesterday I went a bit mad on my little pony blind bags. The little blind bags you can get. Um, there's twelve left. 12 in a set, so I thought, as it's my birthday, I'll I'll gamble, if you like, and get all 12 bags. And out of all 12 bags, there was only two duplicates, so... But I now have Raven Inkwell. There she is. I have Mrs. Cake. So I've just got to find Mr. Cake now. I now have the dentist version of Minuet. I've got another version of her up on the shelf. She's not actually a dentist. <laughs> not in the show. Um, the story behind that one is there's a lot well, there's a lot of uh, what we call background characters or well in the fandom we call them background ponies. Um, that don't or didn't have a name, so the fandom gave them a name. And uh, she got the nickname Colgate after the toothpaste. And I'm guessing that was to do with her stripy mane and tail. I'm guessing that's how she uh, earned that nickname. So uh, obviously Colgate, toothpaste, dentist. That's how that came around. I have got... I believe... I'll just get the cards. I believe this one is Sky Wishes. Not Pinkie Pie. Um, I already had Pinkie Pie up there and Big Mac, so I've put those in a job lot, I believe. No, it's not the one, it's not the that's not the one. Yep, Sky Wishes. But I really like the transparent ones, not that much. And uh, the makers of these blind bags, I don't know if it's a Hasbro themselves or, a, you know, a licensed company, but they use the same moulds for different ponies, see? <laughs> exactly the same. Looks nothing like her in the shirt. This one's Lemon Hearts, I think. No, it isn't. This one's Sunny Rays. She's got to go back on the shelf, actually. She's not to do this here. That one's Sunny Rays. Sunny Rays. <laughs> Sky wishes. <laughs> hmm. Just change the eye colour and put a different cutie mark on, and that's it. Oh, and just change the colour of the plastic in the mould. I guess they do that because they can manufacture the figures quicker, obviously, and it's probably cheaper, which means they can sell them to the public cheaper, allegedly. Right, here's Lemon Hearts. It looks nothing like Lemon Hearts in the show. And I'm pretty certain that the Lemon Hearts in the show is a unicorn, not an earth pony, but she hasn't got a horn. So uh, we made a bit of a boo-boo there. I think. I'm going to double check that. I know what episode to go and watch. Then we've got Mrs. Grumpy Guts. I mean, Gilda. <laughs> Ooh, she was really... um. The first ever episode she appeared in, which I think was season one, um, she was mean. <laughs> and the last one, Uncle Orange, which is the exact same mould as uh, Big Macintosh, just in a different colour. But it seems like 
Actually, no, that's not true either. I was going to say, it seems like characters that have made a speaking role in the show get their own personal moulds. Actually, no, this one isn't. It's just been um, custom decorated, basically. And painted. That's that, that's that. Got some Lego as well. Got all these bloody cards I've got to put in my pile of them. <coughs> it's not often I buy these, it's just it depends if I'm in the mood to buy them or not. Oh. So, I'll <laughs> give you some idea how many I've got. <laughs> Quite a few there. And reason I keep the cards is because I forget the names. Well, because some of them, like Skywishers, aren't from the fourth generation of My Little Pony. There's some from the third generation and 3.5. So, and I'm not too familiar with their names, so I keep the cards so I can keep track. Each sold separately, subject to availability. But uh, there were quite a few of the ones I was actually after in the series, like Minuet and Raven Inkwell. And uh, I was actually, <laughs> I was actually really chuffed, you know. <clears throat> like I said, out of the twelve that I bought, there was only two duplicates. But there was also two in this lot that I already had on the shelf, so. I've put them together as a little job lot and I've stuck them on eBay. And I wasn't sure about this one because I thought that was a, a Lemon Hearts one as well, but it isn't. It's just the same mould. Different colour plastic as well. I'm going to probably head down and just do this wheel. I did get a cheap Lego set. It was on offer, the last one up there. That's not all that came with it, it's what they call a Lego starter set. You get that, you get two of these with this one. Two of these, well, what we call a sack barrow over here, I can't remember, hand car or something. They're called in the US. And yeah, let's have a look. Three envelopes. <coughs> or three bricks, I've just got the um, envelope print on them. I've got actually loads of these now. You get four figures, there's one in the helicopter already, the pilot, and then you get that lady, one Octan guy, Octan is Lego's uh, fictional fuel company, there's our third guy, he obviously works at the heliport or something, then we get uh, mailbox, <coughs> my voice disappeared for some reason. Um, two of these, but I can only find one, so the ones that they use to wave planes around the airport and whatnot, direct planes around the airport and helicopters and, oh here's the other one, you get a pair of them and somewhere there is what's meant to be a fuel barrel, here it is, you can get that as well, should have retailed at £9 but Sainsbury's are having a big old clear out. And this was uh, on the clearance shelf at £6, last one, so I grabbed it. As I hadn't got that one. I don't know if I'll do a review on it yet. <clears throat> I might. As I haven't done a review on any LEGO sets on my channel for a few weeks now, I suppose I should. Oh, that's what I did as well. Um, I have fixed grips bloody well, but uh, I have fixed the cable that goes to my subwoofer up the corner, put a new plug on it. Um, before that I had another cable sort of butchered onto this, you know, just twisted the wires together and wrapped it in black tape and then laid it on the table, but that connection was getting rather dodgy. In fact, most of the time, I was only getting audio out of the right speaker, or it was louder out of the right speaker than the left. 
until I like give the cable a wiggle so I was getting pissed off with that so I thought well got these plugs that I didn't use on those headphones in the end so I stuck one on there with a you know heat up the soldering iron damn they fiddly to do <laughs> um, I think if I'm gonna do things like this I need some of them um, magnifying glasses that I've seen a YouTuber I watch wear them 12 volt vids is his channel and he's got like big sort of magnifying glass things that he wears might have to get myself something like that so I can actually see what I'm doing but yeah that's now working perfectly I had to do it twice because I did cock up the connections the first time so I have got the other plug on here that I've got to clean up the or clean the solder off of and uh, that'll be usable again but uh it right like I said I've got a photo on the camera to upload so I can put it up for sale this cord was flashing but I don't see it's done this before it's flashed up like I've been messaged but Oh, I've got three friend requests pending. <laughs> Ooh, well, that was nice. That might be why that was flashing, because I don't really pay attention to the top bit. It's not a bad messenger. I'm still getting used to using it. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down because I'm rambling. Uh, we're going to get this wheel done. I've got to run into town so I can give it a test run while I'm doing that. Just trying to remember what I need. I need a roll of refuse sacks because I'm totally out. Uh, and some food. <laughs> some food would be good. In fact, I could really eat some cereal so I might go and grab some. So I don't really fancy a takeaway again. Not tonight. Anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm back. I've done the little run. The little run. It was only a small one, you see. I keep pronouncing it as little. I think it's because I've done that for, well, ever since I knew about the store. I mean, our one has been in town for... Seventeen years? Actually, quite scary. It's 2001. 2001, so 2011 would have been 10 years. So, 16 years, I suppose. 16 years. And it's been demolished and rebuilt since then because they needed a bigger store. <laughs> that proves how much this town has grown in that time. For a supermarket to make such a decision to completely flatten the store and build it. They bought some land surrounding it as well so they could expand it. But yeah, it's actually pronounced Lidl. Yeah, so it seems that most of us Brits have been pronouncing it wrong. I never knew. I always pronounced it Lidl because, you know, it's L-I-D-L. Um... I don't think I ever heard it pronounced any other way until this year, actually. Something I saw this year that said it's actually Lidl, not Lidl. But anyway, I went there because I needed some refuse bags. Didn't get the refuse bags, did I? I got some mini frankfurters because I actually love them. They're smoked ones and they come in like a double pack. Six in each one. Only one pound fifty for the for one forty nine. Don't know why they do that. It's always one forty nine, one thirty nine, one twenty nine. It's always the nine. Not one thirty, one fifty, one forty, or whatever. It's always the bloody nine. For, I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Although one forty nine just sa does sound cheaper than one fifty, I suppose. Maybe that's their logic. Anyway, but they are pretty good. Um, and it's one of the few things that I can actually eat that won't upset my tummy too much. <laughs> anyway, I got those. 
I've got a couple of things. I've got the, found this in the um, reduced bin. Little um, fold away Allen key tool or hexagonal tool. I think they call it a hexagonal tool on the pack. But basically, it's just got loads of these. It's got three where this big one is. Up yours. <laughs> and five down that end. Five of the little ones. So that's all it is. They just fold out like that. You've actually got this, which is a good grip to hold on to. I would probably use them like that for it to me, so you can twist it better. But uh, you get the standard... It's basically just all the standard sizes on here. You've got five, six and eight on that side. And on this side we have 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and 4. And the reason I've got this, I think I've just remembered I've actually got a bike tool in the bag. But I want to start cycling a bit more next year. And I don't want to get stuck in the middle of nowhere and, you know, something breaks. So I've got them two little bags on my blue clawed butler. The one I just changed the brake disc on. That actually did improve the brake, but not as much as I would like. But uh, it's a lot better to use now. It's a lot safer. So I'm going to take one of the bags off of that and uh, put this in it. Um, it was two ninety nine originally, and they knocked it down to two pound ten. I guess just because it was the last one. Sometimes they do that. If it's the last one or two items of the stock, they'll just throw it in the reduced bin and reduce the price. The other thing I got because I'm I can't resist lights. I just find various lights just so relaxing to look at. But I got these small battery ones. It's actually quite a long set. Uh, it did have on the wire this bloody great big tag, but it's only that size because it's got multiple languages on it. And as little is a supermarket that is found in many different European countries, I guess they do this with their products to save them, you know. Well, it would be so much more work to put or to make a batch for an individual, or for a specific country and put specific languages to that country you know, on all the tags. It's just easier to make one big tag with all the necessary languages on it and then just make one big batch and ship it out. Box. But, uh, these were $2.99. Not bad price, but you do get three AAA batteries, Panasonic's as well, so you don't get any, you know, ultra crap cheapy ones. Although Panasonic aren't my favourite, although I do prefer those over JCB at the minute. As I found out, JCBs have got this, especially the red JCB ones, they've got this habit of leaking, but the usual, not a very long piece of cable between the first LED and the battery pack. 20 LEDs, and that string itself is actually quite long. Well, not in the middle, but it is quite long. And they just look like you're, uh, and feel just like an average set of battery LED lights. But uh, it's got a switch, obviously, a switch on the battery pack. And these ones, I picked these, because they had the colour choice of um, warm white, which I actually prefer, because I like the warm colours. There's a YouTuber I watch that um, takes cheap things like this apart and whatnot and tests their quality. It's actually quite good. BigClive.com if you're interested. If you look, these are actually an amber colour. Um, it is showing up amber a bit more on camera, or it is on my screen here, but to the naked eye, it's, it's like a warm, I would describe it as a warm white with a hint of amber. It actually depends what angle you look at it. And some of them, when I, as I go through the string, some actually look a bit more amber than others. But it's a nice warm colour. And I think if you're going to put lights on a Christmas tree at home, 
That's the sort of ones you want if you don't like the coloured ones. My mum's never liked the multicoloured ones. We never, ever had multicoloured lights on the um, Christmas tree in our lounge. They were always white ones, transparent ones, whatever you want to bloody call them. Clear. So, I'm happy with those. But yeah, I didn't get the refuse sack, so I've got to go back there in a minute to go and get them. <laughs> oh well. Right. Um, I've already got someone coming along to look at the racing bike tomorrow at 5 pm. Obviously, I can't put any money in my bank until Monday anyway, so I'm not fussed. Because um, the only reason I'm selling it is to put it towards paying my phone bill. Which uh, I could have easily done. But as it was my birthday, I decided to treat myself. <laughs> so, uh... I haven't quite got enough. But uh, I've got five items on eBay at the minute, including one of my um, pony plushies, because uh, I'm not really keen on that one. Um, a friend of mine, his girlfriend, had a collection of uh, My Little Pony stuff, and uh, she wanted some, or needed some money one day and uh, sold me a bunch of it, and that cuddly was in it, so... I sort of bought it to help them out, you know. Better than being owed money, you know. I'd rather do that than loan it. Because then I've got to worry about, you know, can they pay it back? Will they pay it back? Will they be able to pay it back? Because they're in the same boat as I am, pretty much. Except they've got a kid now, added, you know, to add to the works. But uh, anyway. At least if I buy something to me, you know, that's there's no debt there, you know. I can just sell the stuff on as well. Because I'm like them. I have internet! Well, actually they do, because they've got it on their um, mobile phones, a dumbass, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just more inclined to sell things online. No idea what this is. Roly-poly. Ugh, I'm in a random mood tonight, obviously. Check emails, I keep checking emails regularly. Yeah. We're getting eBay summary now. Blah. Pardon me. One of the items I have put on eBay um, is a record player. I bought this one from a charity shop several, several months ago now. Um, it needs... The lid put back on it properly. Now it'll close. It needs a stylus. That is it. That's what it said when I bought it for five pounds from the charity shop, so... Um, and I have plugged it in and tested it. The actual platter does turn. All the controls seem to work, so it does seem like it only needs the stylus. So I've stuck it up on eBay, because uh, initially I was going to get the stylus for it, which I think is about 9 99 for this one, and use it, but since I've got this one, i got the stereo that's in the bedroom, so I no longer need or want to fix this. <laughs> I stuck it up on eBay. It's not going to be too much of a pain to post because uh, it's big, but it's not heavy. So um, I know I paid five pound for it, but I thought I'd try my luck a little bit on eBay and put it up for ten pound or best offer. I don't know. Start at a five pound bid. I can't remember. I might start at, oh no, I start at five pound bid. Duh. So if I get the, you know, the minimal, or the minimum amount back. I've still got two plushies that I'm watching on here. 
that end on Sunday. Might have someone watching them, let's have a look. Might put three items up. Oh, so I've got more items than five. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. That record player's got a watcher. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got six items. Uh. Oh, right, that's because I sold that phone. I was going to say, why can I only put... Why is it only letting me put nine items up? No, because I've already sold one. That's why. Right, well, I'm not going to ramble anymore because I've got stuff to go do. Oh, I've got a drink poured. Yep, stuff to go do, so I'm going to go do that. Okie dokie, I'm back. I was going to go walkies, but... Uh, because uh, I was waiting for the computer to reboot, but uh, it did it a lot quicker than I thought it would. Although well, it's taking ages to bring up the, um, oh there we go, the sign-in window. Can't see, can you? Can't see my password. Facebook game room glitched, so I closed it and the game music was still playing even though the app was closed, so I had to reboot. Any what the hell was I coming through? Oh yeah. Check on hmm. We've lost some LEDs. It was lighting up to that one. And now it's dropped down again. Well, we're not hot. That's the battery that uh, runs the lighting in my shed. So I'm going to take that off. Where are we sitting? Probably. Not far. No, what what does your help to turn the meter on? We are near enough charge. That's why the LEDs were dropping then. We've got 13.10, it's sort of flicker, well according to this it's flickering. It's not settling but the battery is a bit warm so it might settle. I believe it going a little, a little bit longer. But uh, it hasn't actually taken long to charge that battery. I only put it on like two hours ago. And I actually have to say this is probably the best one of the better chargers I've got this cheapy. Oh it's not a cheapy, it's a Hilka. Yeah. Mm. Um I'm pretty certain a 10 amp fuse came out of that. It just says on there to prevent risk of fire, change with the same rated fuse. And I know one fell out and I lost it. I put a 10 amp in there and I'm pretty certain that's what fell out. Right. I can't remember if I told you this earlier in the video, but I had an electrician come round. Right, and uh, he was just testing to make sure everything was up to date. And there's a power bar, my big eight. Well, I think I did actually tell you. Um, he plugged his machine into that, and it was coming up with a wiring fault, which I thought was pretty odd, you know, because it's it's worked fine for me. Dumbass here forgot until he'd left that. Uh, <coughs> The reason he was getting a wiring fault is because the switch is turned off. 
that big long one I've got on the wall, because it's got all my old computers and everything plugged into it, I keep it turned off, don't I? And only turn it on when I need it. Just for a bit of extra safety, and it's also something I can reach should anything decide to catch fire or spark or whatever. So, you know, I can just hit the switch and cut the power easily. Mm. Pardon me. Yeah, so that will be why he was getting that fault reading on his gadget. Because what it does, he plugs the gadget into an outlet and it will deliberately trip the, the RCD and um, tell him how long it took. Because obviously over here there's a... a um, RCD should trip within a specified time. If it doesn't, it would have to be replaced. But uh, mine are all right, they're tripping as they should, which is good. You know, what else did he check for? A uh, thing on things like my light fittings and whatnot, and that's all good. Because uh, I've got three metal light fittings. This one's metal, first light in the kitchen is metal, and the one in the bedroom is metal. Um, the one I put in the hallway is actually a plastic base. Believe it or not. The one thing I hate about doing a vlog over the course of a day like this is I forget what the hell I've sp already mentioned. So I do apologise if I've repeated a few things. And uh, this evening I've uh, cleaned out Bonzo's tray. I wanted to do that before the electrician arrived, but I totally forgot until he rung my buzzer this morning. <laughs> oh, it's just Discord signing in. How's that? No, it is signing in. That did go not responding for a second there. But, uh, yeah, he didn't find anything um, that needed doing. No, the fuse box or consumer unit is all up to date and working as it should. The shower's fine. I do remember mentioning that earlier. <laughs> Apparently it's being fed with a 6mm cable and ideally he said it needs to be big. But because it's not going over a long distance, it's only a short... Literally for the shower it's literally just going straight up and down the other side of the wall. Because my shower, and I need a new hose for this, I've got to find one from somewhere. Because that's my responsibility when that hose is knackered. After like seven and a half years, it is actually um, failing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you see the cable goes straight up into the ceiling. Back down into that simple. <laughs> I bet the electrician thought, yay! My life is so easy doing this shower. Because um, there was an electric shower in here. In fact, when I first moved in, that's all there was. There was just a shower in this corner. And like a raised brick plinth on that side as well that the shower sat on. And uh, literally six months after I moved in here, Victory came in and gutted the bathroom and refitted everything. New toilet, new sink. And um, the only thing is, I didn't get an option for either a shower or a bath. The only options we were given was either to have just a bath fitted or a shower over the bath. Which I think most tenants actually opted for. I did, because I just like to have the option there. I do like to have a shower sometimes. <sighs> And the um, arse was, they chose to come in and do this literally six months after my brother painted this whole flat for me. <laughs> so that was a waste. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have bothered to paint in the bathroom, you know. I'd have just said, yeah, we'll leave that room because they're going to gut it anyway. Right. <laughs> Trying to sell a bunch of things and just... Even that... You know, stupid cheap prices, things just aren't selling. 
Wrong time of year, but I do need to scrape some together. I'm sure I'll find something else. I've got space to put three items on eBay. I'm sure I'll find something to stick on there. what I'm looking around for. <laughs> See if I can find anything anyway. I think this video's got on long enough really, hasn't it? Anywho, thanks a lot for watching. I've got a few other random videos in mind. I've just got to be in the right mood to do those, but uh, you'll see. A couple of them is looking at a couple of uh, games that I've been playing. And I haven't actually had my laptops out of the cupboard for a while, so I figured I can put the camera on and we can go through and make sure they still work. In fact, I do want to get one out of that cupboard to use. But before I do any of that, I've got to clear that bench, because I'll need to use that. And find the um, adapters up. Which I think are actually in the outside cupboard. Bollocks. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.